Ultra Instinct from Heaven back with another video and uh, chapter 58, the most hyped chapter in uh, recent memory for the Dragon Ball series. And uh, we're almost in the end game now. Uh, we see Goku's more lats um, ability with UI, and we see that he can easily obtain UI for the first time in the Dragon Ball Super. Uh, storyline and the heroes he can I think tap into it a little bit easier but heroes in the canon so yeah this is the first time we've seen Goku just go into UI like it's nothing and uh, I mean I'm kind of spoiling the entire thing from the from the very beginning but I mean most of this is like literally useless useless um a little bit of talking you know uh he should be hot as his power just typical Goku banter uh, Krillin ask him like you, you hold up, fuck me, yeah. So Krillin basically asks him like you really bought about it, and you know, of course Goku says yes. Goku comes through and smacks niggas up. Um, fodderizes. This is a cool little dialogue. Uh, god damn it, Safari. Did you guys beat up the prisoners? Even we could. <laughs> Goku was like, I was like, y'all could actually beat everybody else. Wow, oh, that's cool. Wow. That's amazing. So yeah, um, here's one of the things that I had a problem with in this this little chapter. So Seventeen, who along with Goku and Vegeta, I guess, and Frieza, was able to fight Jiren, and even Seventeen for a short period of time could fight Jiren himself. That same Seventeen, MVP Seventeen, um, along with Gohan, Piccolo, and Eighteen. 18 also have an unlimited stamina. And Gohan being, what, the fourth strongest warrior on Earth? Maybe third, depending on how you look at 17. Um, these guys got washed, molly whopped by Sabonis, or whatever his name is. And, I mean... I, I don't know. See, here, here's my thing. Like, sag, sag, and boom, my bad. So, like, and sag, and boom, starts getting his ass beat. So, here, here's my thing. Let's just go ahead and skip. So, Goku comes in. He's super fast. He uh, is using UI, which is something that Moro can see it. Gohan can sense, sense him. Generally, it, it appears, and we know that these um, well, I, I suppose consider Moros one of the Galactic Patrol, but he isn't naturally a Galactic Patrol. But Jack Jacko can see him similar to Moro, who is also Moros, Morris, Mirrors, 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 who can also see you know, he's an angel, so he can obviously see it, but whatever, he can also see it. Um, in this UI. Him, uh, Moro being, I don't think Moro's a god, but he has, like, very magical properties. And maybe that's why he can see it. I don't think he's a god, though. And if you want to know that transportation was, was essentially UI. I, it's just weird to me that the power that Moro, and as Moro puts it, um... And yeah, this this I can't skip over this either. This is a little funny too, but <laughs> Goku's kind of Goku's he pitied uh Tien and Yamcha, and this is even worse. Not much point in training where we still can defend the Earth. When was it? I wonder. When did you get so far ahead of us? This little nostalgic piece is just it, it's lost because it just keeps on moving back to fighting right after. But like, this is sad to see. Like this is this is what a lot of um. Dragon Ball, like OG Dragon Ball watchers who follow the series at this point, this is what they always like harken back to when they think about how Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball Z and Super's kind of falling off. Is that nobody else scales to Goku and Vegeta anymore? And it's like, even when we get fights like this, we still get Goku or Vegeta bailing out everybody. So it's like you never really see a situation where the the other Z warriors really look impressive i mean they'll look good for a little bit then something will happen to where those get overpowered and it's like 
it's always a backhanded like compliment, I guess. But yeah, um, so you are, I mean, not you are, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku just beats the dog shot of uh, Sagan Bow. But like, here's my thing. This is what I finally want to see. I kind of like perfected. I guess it's a perfected version of SSB, I believe. This power boost that Moro has been supplying to Sagan Bow makes him so much stronger than anything else. Like at this point, he's... I don't think he's enough to beat uh, SSB Goku, but um, and it wasn't that form you applied. So yeah, he knows about the forms. I I don't think that Goku decides to try to fight Moro because he doesn't think he can beat Saganbo. I think it's literally just because he doesn't want Saganbo to get destroyed, pretty much. And to, I guess, capitulate to Goku's wishes, he just, like, kills uh, Saganbo, pretty much. This reminds me a lot of, um, of, uh, My Hero Academia. I, I think I'm thinking about, uh, Kirishima. I believe this reminds me of Kirishima, Red Riot, when he goes, like, ballistic with his powers. Um, that's what, that's what this reminds me of. Like, kind of the, the stylization of his body, the eyes going crazy. Uh, the muscles, just the art, it's very reminiscent. And Goku being naive again, you know, cut and paste. And here we go. He can channel into UI at, at will. This is no mortal ability. The initial stage of the technique of the gods, Ultra Instinct Stein. So here, here's the thing, right? Three things to pick up on. He can just easily turn into UI now. Which is, I unless Moro pulls out something that makes him visibly more impressive than Jiren, him pulling out UI, I believe, is the first step into lessening the impressiveness of UI, in my opinion. Because I know that they've tried to save UI in the past to be like the ultimate trump card, and like transformations won't necessarily, they won't be more transformations than UI, right? It's the ultimate. And UI specific, master UI specifically. But I just think that it's a slippery slope when you start running UI against, you know, everybody, anybody. He can just start channeling to it easily. Um, obviously, we know that he probably won't finish it in UI Omen. Or this is UI Sonic, UI Omen is the other one. Anyway, base UI, um, Super Saiyan Black. Um, he'll probably do a Super Saiyan White. And from that point on, I don't think he'll do it right now. I think he'll, like, spar with Moro. And then Moro will pull some shit out to become stronger than UI Goku, Super Saiyan Black. And then Vegeta will come in, and Vegeta will come in with whatever. I think it would still be like perfected Super Saiyan Blue, but it'll have some kind of thing added on to it to kind of make it different. Um, and I think at that point, Moro will pull out some other shit. And this is all predictions at this point. UI Goku have to go Super Saiyan White. And Vegeta will have to pull out some other shit that, like, be kind of comparable to Super Saiyan White. That's just where I see this going. Uh, but this is a pretty decent chapter. I mean, it's kind of... It's just, you know, all tried and true. What works, works uh, kind of stuff. Uh, not anything really significantly different from what we've gotten before in Dragon Ball. But I am very interested in seeing what Vegeta has. Because it has to be comparable to UI Goku. It has to be comparable to Super Saiyan White, more than likely. Uh... SSBE was shown to be in the same realm against Vegeta as Super Saiyan Black was. I mean, not against Vegeta, against Jiren uh, as Super Saiyan Black was. So hopefully this is also something he has comparable to Super Saiyan White. But it's definitely evident they're making Vegeta to be the main event tour here for the least of time being. Whether or not Goku at the end saves it or as Vegeta actually gets his shiny moment in Dragon Ball Super because he has none. He has no he has no moment where he's the ultimate winner for the Z Warriors. So hopefully this is Vegeta. Peace.